All right. Yesterday I had a, I had a really fun conversation. It was weird. I, I, uh, we talked about Tom Brady and he made a, a, an argument for why Tom Brady should retire. I don't necessarily believe in this theory. Uh, but it, but it made a lot of sense, and I, I thought it was, it was interesting, very interesting, very engaging for me. And I want to talk about things that are interesting, so it's worth talking about. Should Tom Brady retire at the end of this season? Remember, Tom Brady is probably going to be the NFL MVP. He's had a great year, not a, not an amazing year, but a really good year. He's ending on a if he if he finishes his career at the end of this season, it's going to be a magical run. He played 18 years. He finished. He's probably going to. Uh, either make it to the Super Bowl or the AFC Championship, and that's awesome. He's going to finish on a really high note, um, and it's 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 possible that Tom Brady should quit while he's ahead. So my buddy made this comparison. He he he's a, a nerd about stocks. He he's a a very uh, he's a big time investor. Like he invests a lot in stocks. He has a a good portfolio. He's very proud. And recently he sold the stock Boeing. And here's what happened. He uh, he sold Boeing because Boeing was increasing a lot. And he said, look, we got to sell while it's high. We got to get value while we can. And they sold Boeing. Well, after he sold Boeing, Boeing stock continued to increase. Um, but but he has no regrets. I mean, he, he could have held on to it. It was a risky move to hold on to it, though, because uh, it could have gone down. And if it had gone down, he would have lost money. So, look, he, he improved his – he sold it for way more than he got it. It was a good investment. He's not upset about the, the potential for more money. It's like, that happens. You got to make tough decisions. So he sold Boeing. He could have made more money, but he, he didn't take a risk. He, he decided to quit while he was ahead. That is a very similar parallel to Tom Brady. So Tom Brady has a decision at the end of this year. Just like you can sell Boeing stock or you can hold on to it to see if you can get more value out of it. Tom Brady can either retire at the end of this year, go out while he's on top, get as much value as, out of himself as he can, or he can try to keep pushing for it and to see how much more can I get out of my body. And the reason why this is very critical for Tom Brady is because of his TB12 method, the Tom Brady 12 method, you know, that his like cult diet and training program. All The TB12 method all hinges on one thing. It hinges on him being successful into his late, later age. So if Tom Brady plays till he's 45, the stock of T the TB12 method will skyrocket. He can say, look, it works. Tom Brady would be the best advertising campaign for the TB12 method, better than anything else, because the proof is in the pudding. And he would say, look, I played quarterback at a high level until I was 45, and that is thanks to my diet and my training program. That's pretty much bulletproof. I don't know that it's even right. I think there are a lot of other factors that are making Tom Brady play so long. I think he gets down pretty early. He doesn't take a lot of hits. Uh, he, he probably does. E eating right can't hurt you, certainly, but it's not the sole reason. But let's be honest, it would really help his business venture after the NFL if he played till he's 45. But it's a big risk. If Tom Brady continues to play after this season and his play dram dramatically declines, uh, that's, that's really bad for the TB12 method. That would be like, instead of selling Boeing stock, well, it's worth a lot of money. It'd be like keeping Boeing stock, and then it goes, it plummets way down, and you lose a ton of money because you took a lot, you took a big risk by holding on to that stock. I just want to point out that you know Tom Brady's making taking a gamble on his body, and, and I think it's the right bet. I think you have to gamble to win. I think the the benefits of playing till you're 45 for his branding after the NFL it's invaluable. Because if you quit now, you're like, well, you didn't actually prove that it works. So I think to prove it, you have to keep playing. But I thought it was an interesting argument where he said, hey, look. Tom Brady's TB12 method works. It's selling well. It's, it's worth money now. He could just quit while he's ahead. Say, look, I played till I was 41. I won a Super Bowl at the last season, last, uh, season of my career. So the TB12 method works. Just pointing out, it's interesting to me that, you know, quit while you're ahead. I, I think, again, you got to take risks to win. Uh, I, I, if I'm Tom Brady, I'm not going to retire. I don't think he's going to retire. But it was a conversation I thought was interesting. I thought it was worth pointing out that maybe... Just maybe Tom Brady should consider retiring and quitting while he's ahead.